right, here we go. Hello and hello, and welcome to Always More Nerd, where we take a break from the infinite possibilities to talk about the news, reviews, and previews of all things comic books, sci-fi, fantasy, and anything deemed nerdy. Today on the pod, we are talking about Spider-Man, Guardians, and Flash reviews, open world Star Wars games, Marvel delays, Craven trailer, El Muerto, and so much more. But first, I'm your host, Tim Lichty, and sitting across from me is the man who showed up two minutes late for the recording today, and that is <laughs> Jordan. Shade. Always some shade. <laughs> Oh, the shade. I like the way you say Alberto. That was really good. Thanks, man. Really I try. Good. I try. I try not to be white sometimes. <laughs> and sitting uh, across from us, way, way far away in his basement, is the man with many hats. That is Justin. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, it's been a minute. How are we doing? We're good. We're good. Well, I'm good. Oh, Got yeah. No, I am good. I have not recorded from home all year so it's good to be back in my house and not in detroit oh, i was yeah. about to say man it's this like first true. time it's like been like forever since we've not seen you in a hotel I room i thought you had like a virtual background going on or something that's good well guys we got it we got a show like since the last time we recorded we had a lot of good content that has yeah. been released and so we got a lot of big crazy things uh but uh jordan you got some news for us right I do. I let's do. talk about <laughs> some news okay just to start off we have spider-man 2 gameplay and a release date and that's october 20th nice um i think it looks great i like uh they've added some more combat moves in the gameplay um venom craven uh it looks great uh also the i can't remember who it was part of the president of who's What's the company that makes the game? Um, I mean, Sony is Somniac. the owner, but Insomniac, yeah, oh, Insomniac yeah. president was like, "This is a uh, Venom origin we've never seen before." Oh, interesting. So it's not. I think at the end of the first game, it was kind of like it was going to be Harry. They were kind of like moving that direction, but I guess this this is new. Oh. It's not actually Harry, I guess. Well, good so, yeah. for you, PlayStation players. I know, right? Man, I need to. I need I to get know. something. I need to steal one of y'all's. Is what I need to do. Yeah. I mean, if you want to drive up here and play it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, all right, what's up next, man? We have a live my uh, mm, a live action Miles Morales in the works. What? Are you sure? Positive. Who said it? Sony said it. Sony said it. Sony said it. Well, I guess if Sony said it. Sony said it. <laughs> and so I don't yeah. I, look. Uh, look, I. If I, they were serious hey. about a El Muerto <laughs> film, they're fe- they're serious about a live action Miles Morales. Oh. Here, here's the problem. It's Marvel, in the works. Marvel won't let them do anything with Miles Morales. That's gonna suck. So yeah, I mean, well, I, mean I mean, that's good. I don't sure. know, but I get it at all. <laughs> For sure. What is the? I wonder what the ownership rights are regarding Miles. That's a good question. I, I know Sony ultimately probably has it, but so Sony has it. So their deal, um, it just includes like anything that's like primarily like a Spider-Man character. Mm-hmm. Uh, there might be some like weird overlap, like with Kingpin, kind of the same way um, like Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver were both like Fox and Marvel mm. time yeah. because of the Avengers and X-Men association. Um, so yeah, it's probably, probably mostly any, but any new, like main Spider-Man character automatically falls into that deal. So like file, yeah. Yeah. uh, Ghost Spider, which is Gwen spider girl, um, or spider woman, I don't know what call herself. Um, but like all those characters, even though they were created after the Sony deal, all fall under the Sony umbrella. Man, what a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I mean, if Sony and, and Marvel keep playing nice, I'm sure that, yeah. yeah. It, uh, miles in the seems, MPU. Seems so. like the relationship's great. Yep. It's going really good right now. All right. What other Spider news for us? More Spider- <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man Beyond the uh, the Spider-Verse, which I 90% believe is going to be delayed. Why? That's my, I just be, I just think it's going to be delayed. Well, it's 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 scheduled for, is it next May? A whole year? March 29th. Or, oh, okay. So a yeah, little bit less so It just seems, I don't know. Well, I was seems watching. Soon? Yeah, it seems <laughs> soon. And... I don't know if this is like Haley 
Seinfeld like just messing with the media or whatever, but she said that she hasn't recorded anything oh, for this movie. I don't like that. And that it took maybe she dies at the beginning. <laughs> I mean, the director did say that um, there's gonna be multiple Gwens, like variants in this movie, and they're gonna you know explore that. But I just just based off that, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'm not ninety percent sure. Maybe I'm like fifty fifty. Okay. But. Well. Look, yeah. look, look, here, here's my thing. It's like, if we have to wait a whole other year, oh, yeah. I'm okay with that. Like, <laughs> do your thing, make it make it what it needs to be. Yes. Yeah, I'll wait five years. At it this didn't point. even seem like five years. Like, wait, it was five years? 2018. Oh, wow. Yeah. 2018. Man, Holy. that's bonkers. Y'all can't see my face, but yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 2018. Wow. That's a long time. So well, I can wait. Worth the wait. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Hey, Facts. So, I mean, they did them both simultaneously so i'm hoping that with as far ahead as they are in production that we'll get an act you know right yeah. we'll get proper something. release date yeah i mean my other concern is uh which i mean i don't know if we want to roll this into the news at all in some other way the writer strike that's oh uh, yeah which yeah makes me kind of concerned like i hate that things are getting delayed but you know support the writers yeah support them well have, have they did they finish the whole screenplay and recording there? I mean, I guess if she's, if she's, I don't know, she's recorded yet, it. but I would I assume the writing's already done if they were trying to do both yeah. movies at the same time. Yeah. Right. Um, but the writing strike, it goes as far as like, if they were to be like any like rewrite, uh, like even small uh, ones, they can't do, can't that. do that. Um, cause yeah. like I was reading something about a uh, Deadpool. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds can't do all of his fun little that's improv. Wild, I don't know how to feel about, th- I don't know how to feel about that. Well, about to, what? About that. Like, why can't he? Like, because it's considered that's, a rewrite. Well, because ah, he's a writer. Falls into that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and he's he's part of the the he is a writer and he's under that. Ah, uh, okay. Rules. So he's like, yeah. Hey, we're striking. So, yeah. You know. Get it. Understood. Which actually might make sense with some later news, but go ahead and get to the next thing. Yes. <laughs> uh, El Muerto starts filming August six. Um. Cool. Um, a wrestler gains superpower <laughs> through a mystical mask who originally fought Spider-Man in a, chari- a charity wrestling match in which he nearly unmasked the web slinger before being stung by, Star- stung by Spider-Man with a paralyzing poison. Um, cool. You didn't roll the tongue. Wait, you didn't roll the tongue I enough. Did, mu- I don't know. Yeah, that's, yeah, I, I, that's I can't what's going to that. get. Wait, that's, that's, that's the plot? That's, well, the, that's the plot on IMDb yeah, and yes, Rotten Tomatoes. I yes. looked. Oh my gosh! Yes. Oh my gosh! Yes. That is that is not. <laughs> I don't know. How and it's a wrestler that that's Bad Bunny. Like, is Bad Bunny like still confirmed for this? I don't see why not. I, mean, I, I don't. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> are, are we about to do some Google? <laughs> oh, here we go. No, no. I no. I, I'm okay. So you know, maybe maybe want to add this. Up. I'm looking at my notes, right? Yeah. And like, I just open up like you know some notes, and I'm like, wait a second, these are. These are last year. <laughs> oh god! Oh, you're like, last year's in June. <laughs> Justin's like, where are we at? I'm, I'm looking at like I like I hadn't looked at it, you know, mm. but I had a and I looked over and I'm like, rings of power. I was like, <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> Jeez. So I got the, I have the wrong notes open. Yeah, uh, that's all right. Yeah. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. It's I all good. Open. Well, I got something to say before we before uh, Jordan, you can catch up with the notes here. Yeah. Or excuse me, Justin. Um, all right, so let's talk about some news that makes sense with this writer strike, along yeah. with the news that we have heard for the past few months regarding uh, Justin or Jonathan Majors. Man, I got all y'all's names. Mm. The Jays, mm. uh, Jonathan Majors, Jays. and all of his um, um, unfortunate uh, dealings. Yes, events. Um, <laughs> There, there is a, a many delays in the Marvel universe right now. So here's yeah. the full list that Marvel has like let us know these are the movies that are going to be delayed. Yeah. Deadpool three is being moved up from November eighth, uh, twenty twenty four to May third, twenty twenty four. Oh, it's being moved up. It's moving. That, yeah. Oh, I was reading it. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'm wrong. Okay, so these other ones are later though. Yes. Okay, here we go. Captain America: Brave New World, which, by the way, that was a title change since we last talked about this, mm-hmm. is moving from May third, twenty twenty four, to July twenty sixth, twenty twenty four. Thunderbolts uh, is going to December twentieth, twenty twenty four. Blade. <laughs> they just need to take this off the list until it's like finally like, they're filming it. Yes. Uh, Blade to <laughs> February fourteenth, twenty twenty five. Fantastic Four to May second, twenty twenty five. 
And here we go. Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, which I don't know how they're going to do this, is yep. getting pushed back an entire year from May 2nd, 2025 to May 1st, 2026. And it's taking place of Avengers Secret Wars, which is jumping from May 1st, 2026 to May 7th, 20, uh, 27. So a lot of things so, moving yeah. around. Yes. Um, Deadpool randomly moving up, which that doesn't make any sense. But, I mean, all right. Yeah. Um, so... Any like I mean obviously it's disappointing but it's it's kind of a catch tw- not a catch one too but it's also like a silver lining thing of where the the right I'm assuming a lot of this isn't the writers thing it's actually mm. more the creative end of everything and trying yeah. to give the um the artists more work more time to work on everything so yeah you know I'm disappointed but at the same time I'm not too mad yeah they already yeah, felt I, far away <laughs> so yeah. yeah I mean yeah for sure I mean the other thing too is like I feel like that's actually been pretty consistent with the mcu as a whole like we'll get dates yeah. and then as things they're like this is a target date it's not set stone but like as things start to move around it'll be like oh okay we're gonna adjust the date yeah i mean between the writer strike um the new vfx stuff going on over there i mean a lot of that makes a lot of sense yeah yeah all right well that's all the marvel delays uh justin you got the last thing for us Oh, yes. Uh, Star Wars. Oh, <laughs> yes. So, Star Wars Outlaws uh, is a game that I was not excited for. And then I saw gameplay. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, Star Wars Outlaws, remember when we were talking about Andor like a while ago? We're like, I don't know how I feel about it. And then Andor was like the best thing ever. Yes. I'm hoping it's the same. Hey, hey, don't look over here. I... Oh, man. Hey, I'm sorry. Um, we have a heathen on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, don't look over here. Uh-uh. I watched it. I watched it. The whole thing. What What's your overall thoughts? A 7 out of 10. It's better than... It's solid. Okay, I'll, 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 it's I'll solid. Accept it. It's acceptable. It. It's, it's solid. Because, because if it's not... It did pick up at the end. It was really good. Your cup of tea for like that kind of like yeah. little drama. Yeah. Like... That that's fine. That's fine. But you can't say it's bad. If you said it was bad, we would. Yeah, I'd be kicked <laughs> off the pod. Host. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Doo-doo. Uh, but smile. yeah, no Star Wars Outlaws. Um, I do still have concerns because uh, it's Ubisoft, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. And <laughs> I, I don't own a single Ubisoft game after many disappointments in the last decade. So. I don't. I've been concerned, but yeah, it just makes me nervous, man. Yeah. Like that's only like it looks good, it looks solid, mm-hmm. but I'm just, yeah. We know how, yeah. I mean, but also at the rate we're going, my backlog is so big right now. <laughs> and my ten dollars by the time I get around to being able to. Play. <laughs> Have you seen like some of the gameplay and like as far as like what you can do? As far it, it really does feel like a almost like a Red Dead kind of yeah. vibe to yeah. it. Like you can into a spaceship and go directly into space. I mean, obviously, like, there's a load in the clouds and everything, but yes. you go directly into space from there. It's not yes. like it's a load screen or anything. Yeah. Just go to planet oh, yeah. to planet. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty dope. cool. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to buy it. I mean, this, like, I, yeah. <laughs> look, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the whole Jedi Survivor and Jedi, um, um, what is it called? Uh, I haven't played it yet, but. Me neither. What is it called? Is Wait. it Survivor? No. Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Thank Order. you. Um, okay, I was going to ask if you played it. I have not. Survivor or Fallen Order? A Fallen Order. Yeah, I played Survivor. Either. Um, I I have I got two games I haven't even put in my Switch yet. I got Bayonetta <laughs> and uh, Tears of the Kingdom. You know that? Uh, yeah. Haven't been open. Not to mention, yeah, I don't know. I got like six games I'm in the middle of that I haven't finished right now. So yeah, it's Survivor. I'm going to wait till it goes on sale. Yeah. Yep. But it'll be good. I'm excited to see. I'm hoping this is going to be a what Jedi, uh, um, what this series has done though. It does give Star Wars a lift and kind of a new direction as far as like, especially since Battlefront and that disappointing mm. two games. Mm-hmm. It really just kind of like really kind of gave us like a more more kind of feel yeah. with Star Wars games, whereas like the like the older ones were like the best thing that we ever played with. Excellent. And so these are giving us a new hope, pun intended, mm-hmm. uh for where Star Wars games can be. And so I am I am excited. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah. Just because it's Star Wars. I don't care. I'll play it. So 
All right. Well, guys, that is our news segment. Uh, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to go into full spoiler reviews for mm-hmm. Guardians, The Flash, and Spider-Man spoiler across alert. the universe. Spoiler alert. We'll be right back. Thank you all for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe and leave a rating on your favorite podcast platform and YouTube. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at at AlwaysMorePod. If you'd like to ask us a question for us to answer on the pod, you can email us at AlwaysMorePodcast at gmail.com. Or you can call us on our Always More hotline and leave a voicemail question at 254-218-4042. You can also follow all of our social medias individually and as the Always More podcast. Thanks for listening. Let's get back to it. All right, everybody, you nerds, we are back to talk about some reviews. Guys, we, we got spoiled compared to, like, the first three months of the year. Yeah. Uh, like, the first three three months, we had Ant-Man. Um, what else? We had Shazam, Shazam, which I'm pretty sure none of us actually watched or finished. I finished um, it. Oh, did you actually finish it? I finished it. <laughs> you want to know the best part? Oh, that. You know the best what? part? You wish you didn't? No, Wonder Woman was in it. Oh well, I knew that. That was the that was the best part. <laughs> I was like, like oh, how, how, how she is it go so bad? Like the first one wasn't like amazing, but like it was okay. It was good. Like it was it was fine. Same director, and it was like, ooh, nose dive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like the second like Wonder Woman, honestly. Yep. Well, guys, we look. There's good times. The the, the dog days are done. We yes. we got some good things to talk about today. You see all these puns I'm bringing in today? Yes, I yeah. Um, you're on a roll. We we got three movies to talk about in in no particular order here, other than I guess Marvel and DC. So we're gonna hit the Marvel ones first, and yeah. we're gonna talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Justin has his hand raised. What's up? Can we, can we just get Flash out of the way? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh you just no. Get it. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. We'll come. uh, You know what? Okay. You know, I want to end on a positive note. So I guess so. Look, (laughs) yeah. If if you're if you're saying that already, Justin, then yeah, let's let's go DC. Let's talk about the Flash. Okay. Let's let's look. Here's the here's the main segments I want to talk about. Okay. Okay. Got the general reactions, Uh any detailed thoughts, Uh questions and nitpicks, Uh uh, predictions, and a final rating. Okay. Yep. So let's 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 treat this with respect. Yes. (laughs) Because people were yeah. hard on this. Yeah. Let's talk about Missed, general reactions. Yeah. In my opinion. Oh my God, if you could see his face, guys. In my personal, non professional opinion, it was good, not great. Solid. That's my one word for the movie. It was solid. Solid? Yep. Justin. Now, you know, just, yeah, give me general reaction and we'll go to detailed thoughts after this. Yeah. Mid. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think this movie, moving on to detailed thoughts here, okay, I think this movie was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I, I will give it that. Yes. I think the the progression of the story and the way they handled this, not Flashpoint, but Flashpoint story, yeah. um, I think it wasn't bad. I liked the theme. The theme still fit in with Flashpoint, and the theme still carried across like a mel- like a melody. Yeah. There were some weak points that I obviously we will probably talk about here in a second, but if I were to dismiss some of those points, <laughs> I think it was not. It was a good summer film. Mm-hmm. Like, it, yeah. like I was not upset by the eight dollars or ten dollars that I went to go see it with. Yeah. Okay, tag you guys. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know if you're done. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah. Let me go because I know you're gonna you're gonna take the rest. Um, I don't have much <laughs> detailed thoughts, but I mean, I think. There were, like you were saying, there were some spots in the movie I'm like, okay, this is like, y'all are kind of dragging this. Um, can we get back to what, you know, like to the story or whatever? But I think it was cool. I think for like, like he was saying, the Flashpoint and, you know, not being Flashpoint. And I think it was really cool. The two berries seamlessly being on screen um, didn't seem like fake or like odd or anything. It was yeah, really cool. I like, I like the dynamic of them. Um and the growth. And who? The growth. Like the growth. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, them. So, yeah. I got to say about that. Uh, <laughs> All right, Justin. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Hey, I'm going to agree with you about two berries being on screen. I think <laughs> that they did that really well. It wasn't <laughs> like the 
weird, awkward. You're obviously a body double. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. That being said, the CGI in this movie. Whew. Okay, yes. so what is your thoughts about the director saying, yeah, a lot of that was on purpose? He lied. He lied. He's <laughs> facts. 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 There's been like, so many no. memes. <laughs> the babies. When the babies are falling, I'm like, the, is yes. This three? Is this a PlayStation 3? <laughs> yeah. Not, not PlayStation 5. PlayStation 3 quality cutscene is what we're getting over here. That scene I'm made like, me wow. crunch so yeah. bad. So, but like, it was all it was over bad. the movie. Yeah. Like, the CGI was bad like yeah eric banna 2010 hulk bad oh yeah. was that no it was even before that was that 2003 yeah, somewhere yeah, back something. there yeah. yeah like that yeah yeah eric banna hulk bad like that's Ugh. where we in that movie the cj is only bad because it was 20 years ago okay it's... well taking away the cgi justin where does yes. that leave you yes then? detailed thoughts mm -hmm. okay detailed thoughts uh i thought the plot was poor like the, the overall premise of it makes sense, you know the the whole flashpoint idea. Mm -hmm. Barry goes back in time, saves his mom, breaks the timeline, and then he has to go and reset it, and that resets the timeline to some degree. All right, we've done that in the comics. We know we did it, and we know it worked, yeah. and it worked well enough that it's a universe that DC has revisited time and time again. Yeah. So we're like, okay, we've got good source material. I will say also, Michael Keaton as old, decrepit, long-haired Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Excellent. That fight scene was probably <laughs> the best part of the movie. I was going to say, yeah. the Batman. That was the good best stuff. Part. Now, uh, wait, now, I know the answer for Justin here, but did you grow up watching any of those Michael Keaton Batmans at all? Uh-uh. So, like, we, we watched, like, the OG Batmans, and I'm sure you watched the George Clooney, you know, shit show. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it's it definitely brought me back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and also, I mean, if we're going to be honest, I know George Clooney was in Batman and Robin, which was, like, the worst Batman movie. Um, I would rather watch that than watch the Flash. <gasps> Justin, what a hot take! Wow, wow. I, I felt like this movie had so many, and the reason I'm, I'm mad at this movie is kind of the same reason I got super mad at Batman v Superman, but not not as much. We're not going to go down that rant. Mm -hmm. But it had so many good elements that could have made a good movie, mm, and yeah. it didn't. I can't agree with that. That makes it worse because it's like if you have Poor characters, or oh, from start to finish. Yeah, great. But like, you've got this excellent Supergirl. You've got Michael. Oh, Keaton. that's true. And Michael Keaton doing anything. I don't care if he's Batman. You have Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. Yeah. I mean, you've got these elements for potential. I think Ezra Miller was the weakest actor throughout the. Actually, now I take that back. Mm. It was Ben. Affleck. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, what's new there? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> he's Ben so... Affleck isn't a bad actor. I think he's he, bad Batman. Yeah, he just like, he looks good in the suit, but like as far as Bruce Wayne, it's like man. Nah, yeah. No. Nah. But I it was it was just Well, let me ask every, you this, man. Look, maybe this will help better answer the question. Or like maybe kind of cuz I I get what you're saying. It did feel emptier than the original Flashpoint. So I guess here's the question is or two-part question. Would this have been better as just a, you know, one for one, you know, off the, off the comic book pages, you know, retelling of the same exact story? Or what could have made this movie better, mm. like, regarding the whole Flashpoint storyline, even though they changed some details? Yeah. I don't think the comic book storyline would have translated well into a two-hour movie. There's just too much happening there. You know, there's a war between Atlantis and Themyscira. That, that's a two-hour movie in itself. Yeah. You know, to, touching on that plot point um what i think would have made the movie better is uh man i just i just i felt like bit cut because character motivation was always like a little bit like it was like how did we get here it's like you as a viewer you understand yeah but it doesn't make sense like supergirl just shows up to say all right i'm gonna just carry him up into the sky like <laughs> You, you have no idea what's going on. You just showed up and dude was like smoking in the corner. Yeah. Like, like yeah. there's just so much. Like, it's just bad writing. There's a lot of the writing is just bad and it's not believable. And I think Ezra Miller is just a terrible, terrible, terrible <laughs> Barry Allen. I view Ezra Miller as Barry Allen the same way I view Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Oh, wow. Yeah, I that, feel like. Yeah. 
I feel like in the third act, other than Cara zor which I'm going to give her, a, like, um, oh, what's the actress's name who plays her? Sasha? Yeah, my God. Guys, my God. I'm, I'm in love. Like, you need to keep her in the DC. I don't care what James Gunn does. Like, <laughs> yeah. fire him if he doesn't keep her along somewhere. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't fire James Gunn. We haven't even seen what DC's put out. No, no. no, but we need her. We need her. Like, my gosh. I I, me and Chris were in there watching it together. Like, dude, I'm <laughs> dude, I'm about to start my life over with this woman. Like, this is, I, I was, man, it was good stuff. I am very impressed. Uh, she, no, but for real, she was, I mean, she did, her acting was great in it. I really yes. was impressed with everything. But Justin. I hope they don't bring her back only so that Marvel picked her up and cast her as Becky. Okay, I wouldn't be mad. Um, I will say this though. You brought up a funny point that you felt like there a lot was missing. The Flash director Andy Muschietti is that how you say his name? Muschietti. Muschietti. Yep. Uh, he has confirmed that there is a four-hour cut of this film that exists. Yeah, this is not a cut. All of it. <laughs> one day it's gonna get dropped. People are gonna be like, "It's the best thing ever," and it's still gonna suck. It's still gonna it's suck. It's probably still it's gonna, gonna suck. Fucking four hours of sucking in two and two. Like, come on. Yeah. I just. <sighs> What? Yeah, four hours. Wow. I, I I need to watch it again because mm-hmm. I left that film the same way I left The Last Jedi of going, what did I just watch? Because I enjoyed parts of it, but there were parts of it that left me confused mm-hmm. and left me kind of feeling, I guess in the same way that you mentioned there, Justin, it's kind of like void. Like there's like there's something missing here. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I agreed with the vibe of the film. I enjoyed the... The nostalgia, and I sure as hell enjoyed uh, Cara Zor- uh, Zor-El. Um, but, man, I, I definitely did miss, I don't know. Like, it did feel fun, though. And that mm-hmm. I part I definitely did enjoy. I don't miss the super dark DC right now. Yeah. Unless they can do it really well, which I don't think a gun is going to go down that route again, um, I don't think we're going to see that again. Maybe I in certain I areas. Think, I think we will, because he's really talked about diversifying they're putting out kind of in the same way marvel has been yeah. and like marvel's been kind of like experimenting a lot more lately like where we got you know a horror like classic horror with like werewolf by night it's mm-hmm. like done one to like expand raw and i'm all for that yeah like, i think it's great but i would like to see batman still kind of hang into the dark but <laughs> definitely do not want the dark like dark no. Superman only have for yeah. Superman yeah. having a dark story after he's been established as Superman. Right, yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, predictions. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Blue Beetle has been announced as the first DCU character in this new like DC universe, um, but we also have Aquaman 2 on the way. So the way this film ends, and here's full spoilers, um, it ends very weird because... Uh, Barry comes back and he thinks he's fixed everything. Uh-huh. And it turns out that the Batman that is now in this universe is not Ben Affleck, uh, but it is now George Clooney. Yes. So things are still not right. Basically, he has changed everything. And unless you do everything exactly by the book, it's not going to go back to the way you had it before. Right. Which I don't think is going to happen. So my question was leaving this film is, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought this was supposed to like fix uh-huh. everything. Yeah, this like movie, we were told it was going to fix everything. And now it's like, did it fix one thing? Because the post credit scene has Jason Momoa yes. back as Aquaman. We already know the film's coming out, but still, you would think like maybe they would just gloss over that mm-hmm. and like, like let this last film ride out. Yes. But no, he's in the post credit in this film. So now I'm like, well, what the hell? Like, are we just yeah. going to basically keep the this universe? But now we got new At, faces. Was it Else world again, like another universe right is george clooney the new batman for the new batman movie that's been announced already as batman and damian wayne why like, hasn't what that is, question been answered yet yeah what is going on here what, that's what i want to solve solve our questions i think that george clooney as batman unlike however i love george clooney I <laughs> <laughs> like, like batman and robin aside batman and robin was not george clooney at all no no but I mean, not a comic book movie, but the movie Michael Clayton. I don't know if either of y'all have seen it. Jordan, probably not your jam. But <laughs> George Clooney in that movie, absolutely phenomenal. He's a good actor. Like, like, no doubt about that. My absolute favorite actor. I think if he has a good script, he can do pretty much any comedy, serious. He can do whatever. I think that he can pull off a solid... 
yeah. Batman. But my my only thing is he's too arm. Like that that's the only my only hesitation. Well, we'll see, and that's the thing is like he will definitely not pull. Well, I mean he could, but like mm-hmm. if if they keep George, he's going to be better as like this weathered but like in a good way like i am old and experienced and like haha i see what you're doing i made that mistake back when i was your age and you know back in my day yeah kind of kind of batman and so yeah. it would definitely be different but i don't think that's the vibe that they're going to want batman to be so and especially like long term because yeah, yeah right because longevity get, was exactly my concern with Clooney. well hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah i see what you're saying because like like oh i would get too much oceans 11. Mm. I think with with the, especially this age Batman with George, yeah, uh, which I don't think we need. All right, guys. I, I, Final ratings out of ten. Five. Jeez. Wow, right down the mid. You you weren't kidding. I need to see it again, but I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten for now. Ooh, that is. I I gave it an eight. Ripping in in his ballot. I, I'm sorry. Did you hear him? He said an eight. I gave it an eight. I need to watch it again, <laughs> but I gave it an eight. I, and, your opinion is not valid. I take that back. <laughs> I'm not sorry anymore. No, I say that as I enjoyed the film, but I'm going to be more critical my next time watch. I, I will say that. Um, okay. I, look, guys, and I, will, I will say this. One of those points, one and a half of those points come from Cara Zorro. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you right now. Like, I just, I was that impressed with, with how she looked in the film. The how she was, was fire. She was just, man. Oh, okay, hold on. One more thing. How do you feel about the whole, like... Uh, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. We missed a whole like we didn't talk about this. The whole like breaking the multiverse with the different worlds. Oh, and dude, we didn't. Right. Yeah, we didn't talk about freaking Nicolas Cage. Dude, that was fighting amazing. a whatever that was. Um, uh, it was the spider villain that was like I think that was in like concept art uh-huh. for Superman. Yeah, and live Is that what it's called. I think so. I'm gonna look it up real quick. You had Reeves Superman. You had a um, you had a kind of almost like not everybody, but. That There's whole thing. Of, and then the awful CGI Jay Garrick Flash. <laughs> yes. Out. Yes. Man, the Flash TV show had better CGI. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, Superman Lives is what it was called. It was going to be it was going to be Tim Burton's Superman Lives. Wow. Um yeah. <laughs> uh but dude, I tell you what, me and Chris were flipping out when the, when he came up cuz we I could tell too. I when, as soon as I saw the long hair, I was like there's my yep. man Nick Cage. He's yep. in. <laughs> yep. I honestly expected him. more cameos than we got. Yes, that's what that's what I was kind of wondering. Oh. Like they kind of just stayed in the Superman, and I think Batman was in there too. Well, sort of, yeah, sort of, but like, not had, not not in those of, world things. Yeah, yeah, like even like a fail or uh, what's the say, Pattinson. Like even because I mean we got footage, but no, nothing. Was, and they left out my boy Henry. Man. I'm just. I. Oh, he was supposed I, to. Hey, hey, uh, I got a theory. Did you I hear about the theory. two alternate endings of it? I did. I did. Uh, yeah. I did hear. Yeah. They recorded it. So. I, 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 think, I think this is gone. He's starting. To, he's starting to piss me off right now. <laughs> I gotta tell you what. Hey, no, here, no, no, here. I have a take. I have a take. That's going okay. That's, that's a hot take. I think that something happened with him. Like personal? I. No, no, no. Like between him and the studios. Or like something had to happen where they're just like this guy gone. Like they just like even in that beginning when he said the volcano, the volcano, it's like it's obviously that Superman, but they're like CGI, poor CGI too. Uh yes. and it's like I think that something happened and there's probably NDAs, whatever, they're just like, hey, we're gonna part way. They're good. We're good. We're not going to talk about it. Carry mm. on. Because it's starting to get to the point where it's like. It's like there's bad blood. Really, yes. But no, but not even like bad blood. But like they're really, they're not willing to touch you. Maybe some scan is going to come out in a couple of years. And we're, then we're all going to be like, oh, that's why. You know, who knows? But Well, look, this is, this is making me mad at Gunn. Like, I'm telling you, I need to know if there's something, <laughs> if there's something going on. Because my boy, no, Henry, I, did I, nothing I, wrong I, here as far as I know. Nothing. I think I yeah, I I think there's something there though. That okay. that that's my curious opinion, but uh, uh I think that it wasn't like as gentle as everyone's like trying to make the parting out. Yeah. yeah. Well yeah, I can't disagree with that. Because it really was like very like fast. Like it was like, okay, he's in uh whatever that terrible rock movie was called. What is it called? Black, Black Adam. Black. And then it was like, <laughs> Yeah, well he's not gonna be in these 
Superman moving forward. I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on to some happier, uh, or I will say more emotional films. Mm-hmm. Um, let's, let's, let's do Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Uh, guys, this is the end of an era. This is, as we know it, the end of the Guardians, or the Guardians that we have known for the past three films. Um, my general reactions, uh, I think James Gunn does continuously, like, I mean, nonstop through whatever project he does, what Taika Waititi seems to do inconsistently. And what I mean by that is he can create a hilarious film with meaningful characters and true emotional catharsis moments, like cathartic moments. He just, I don't know how he does it, but like Taika can do it every once in a while. And he's Mm -hmm. done it before, like Jojo Rabbit and... Um, like I enjoyed Ragnarok and he's done like, uh, what's another one that he's done? Um, uh, a boy, is, is it boy? I think it's called. Um, but he knows how to do it. But like then this last one came out, love, uh, Thor, love and thunder. And it was just like, uh-huh. he just let his comedy just totally drive everything. And I think Every, it fell on yeah. his face, but James Gunn knows how to tie it Balance out it. nice and easy and like nice little bow. Uh-huh. And so, uh, I think this is truly a James Gunn. A uh, little masterpiece. I agree. General thoughts? Um, um, yeah, go ahead. I got to ask, how many times did you cry? Um, how many times did I not cry? That might be the better question here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, it's just like... I got teary Like, the first time, like... I mean, it was right in the beginning. Like, little little baby uh-huh. rocket. Just like, oh, no. What yes. are they going to do to this baby yes. raccoon? Those yes. mother... <laughs> I, <laughs> mother... <laughs> I, I was good until... Oh man, when Peter thought he was dead. Oh, uh, like, that was. And, uh, oh man, I, I'm in the theater. I saw this movie by myself on like an afternoon. Like I randomly had a day off work, and like some live stuff had prevented me from seeing it early, like I normally do. And it was like Sunday or Tuesday. I'm like, I'm gonna go see this movie. And then I'm sitting in the theater. It's one thirty in the afternoon. I'm just like <laughs> looking over. There's like some old guy off. There's like four people in the theater, and I'm just like crying. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Yeah. I was not prepared to have like that emotional mm-hmm. of a movie. Yeah. I mean, just like, in, I'm, I'll let you get to your general thoughts there, Jordan, mm-hmm. but like, just in hindsight, just think about what James Gunn has done here is he created mm-hmm. this, this three film, uh, saga here yeah he's made us care about these characters who no one knew about prior to you know coming on the big screen was in 2015 2013 yeah just no one knew about and yet that's that is the power of james gunn and that what that does excite me for superman legacy yes that being said jordan what you got uh i mean i basically retweet everything you guys said great all right that's great um, yeah. Okay, let's talk about some details then. Some good details. Favorite moments, favorite characters. Um, guys, uh, let's talk about uh, 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 Brooklyn. Let's talk about Brooklyn here. That was one of the best hallway fight scenes I have ever seen in my entire life. Yes. The I looked at some of the behind yes. the scenes choreography behind it, and it is just Didn't like... Didn't it take like days to make that? Yeah. And that's, that's art. I love that. That's amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. um, I will say this I wrote this down because I just I, this is how I felt the way Gunn is able to bring us an ending where no one dies and yet does not do any stereotypical like movie things where it's like you know like you would expect a movie like this to end where Gamora and Quinn don't end up together yeah. Rocket and Drax don't die no one like no one dies and the stakes are relatively low. Like, it's really just about saving Rocket for the most part. Yeah. And the villain is actually a horrible human being. Horrible. Like, you want to, like, heck? pull this man's throat out of his neck. Yes. Yeah. Um, it was just, it was just, I was mind boggled. Like, at the end of this film, like, this guy made me care so much about this film mm-hmm. and about these characters and about a freaking raccoon. Yeah. How did he do this? Uh, yeah. I definitely, that's actually a lie. I did not. Just get teary eyed. I cried when they were all dancing together and going their separate ways. Oh, that hit me like a fantastic a little drop. <laughs> hit me like a truck. I was like, "Dang, this sucks." But I, I, I like that. That's I like that too. Like how they were all able to just seamlessly just go their separate ways. You know, um, I didn't think I didn't I didn't think Gamora. I thought Gamora and Gwen would come around. I thought they would like. Oh, see, I thought too. I was like, yeah, well, that's, yeah. that's a stereotypical trope. Yeah, they would get back to that somehow. Yeah, but. It was great. I liked it. I, liked I the ending. 
I really like the way that ended up with that Gamora. Like, we're left with a Gamora that's more in line with, like, the Gamora of the comics. Like, yeah. More, like, because Gamora got soft, you know, she wasn't terrifying. It's you know, true. Like, that's true. Or as, like, Gamora, tagline, the most dangerous woman in the galaxy. Like, you should be like, oh, shit, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Like, you don't want to interact with her because it's terrifying. Like, I like that in the future, like, they, if they end up recasting Gamora. Um, but I like that we have all of the characters still on. Mm-hmm. They're not like Iron Man's out, Steve Rogers is out until we have Crazy Both first. <laughs> Secret that, Wars. That's going to happen. That's gonna, what happened to reset us to character. I like that they're out there. I would love to see Rocket again. Rocket and Groot are honestly. These mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. guys recast them. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, gosh, what's his name? Uh, Gunn's brother did the motion capture. Oh, uh-huh. um, Sean. Yeah, Sean, Sean Gunn. Gunn. Yeah, yeah. He's he said he's done. Yeah, <laughs> he did say that. Yeah. And I, I get it because you know he's like you're playing a tiny character. Yeah. Like, yeah. Probably hard on the body. Probably. <laughs> Getting old. Probably. Um, yeah, thanks. I also really do appreciate like how much Gunn is a fan of Thor. Yeah, very much like, so. Through in so many cut, like so many comic references or just pop culture references mm-hmm. that I'm sure I missed a lot. And I caught quite a few. Like there's a lot of things that a lot of people like wouldn't necessarily get. Like even just like going back to eighty film Starlin, you know. It it was wild. Yeah. It was it was but it was great. Like Really has a lot of back. See, that's why I like Dunn. He has respect for the source He's, material. He definitely does. Even if he's going to write his characters different, like Mantis is wildly different from the comic book incarnation. Mm-hmm. To the point that the guy who created her was like, I don't like Mantis because it's not my character. That but he enjoyed the movie that they were the well written characters up it. Yeah. So Dunn respects the material well enough that even when he deviates, he creates something good. Whereas I <sighs> yeah, feel like true. He gets he, he after like Batman yeah. gun, murderer Punisher like come on man. yeah no respect for the source material and what Batman is how he is and what he represents so it's like I think that Gun has done a really good job of capturing that that's why it works yeah 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 it, it just makes you all the moments in this film felt really real. Like, I mean, obviously like it's space and everything, but like all the hu- interaction with one another, yeah. it made sense how everything ended up like this would happen in real life. Like obviously if someone, this is not the Gamora, like that us expecting Gamora and star Lord to get back together. Uh-huh. That's kind of selfish of us. Cause that's what we want. Yeah. But like, she is her own human being. She does not well, she's not human, but she does not have to end up with this person just because we expect we that expect, in the same yeah. way that uh, that's what he showed us through Star Lord, like especially that moment where out, they're outside of um, what is that? Not planned, but like little security place, the flesh place. Like they're having the oh. interaction. <laughs> Dude, that was uh-huh. hilarious. But like he was like saying, like professing his love. He's like, that's not me though. Like yeah. you, you're falling, you're in love with someone else. Yeah. Um. And so, but the way that G- Gun ended that little conflict though was you know, Gamora at the very end saying, I bet we were fun. It's like, mm-hmm. there is at least a cathartic, like, yes, feels just, good. I, yes, mm-hmm. exactly. It's like, she's come around to him as a person, but they don't have that experience. Right. Yes. All up. yes. Like, cause that's not how it works in the real world. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. This, this one is just, it truly is. I'm thinking about all the Marvel films. There's only a few films in the MCU have made me feel this way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as like deep emotional impact, and that's usually been reliant on someone dying. Yeah. But Gunn has been able to do it without that, and it's just truly that's amazing, master, yeah. masterful. I will say, like the deepest like non-death emotional impact, I feel like had was in Winter Soldier with like, uh, him and Bucky. Yeah. Oh, one thousand percent. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah. He he has his long lost friend, and he's here, but he doesn't know who he is, and yes. he, he sees the torture in his eyes. Yeah, absolutely. That was a whole. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Um. All right. Questions and nitpick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One last thing. The soundtrack. Yeah. 
We all good? Just a mm-hmm. good soundtrack again? Great. No complaints? No complaints. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Great. We all know it's great. Yeah. There's not really a debate there. I, I love I love how like this movie came out in the era of TikTok, and we had that whole um, uh, trend with uh, 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 Adam uh, or a warlock, excuse me, Adam Warlock coming out and uh, yes. What, what is that song though? Um, uh, I'll figure it out. Later, yes, but I don't know. About. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, that was fantastic. So yeah, great soundtrack. All right, moving on. Questions and nitpicks. Um, here's mine. Uh, who will come back besides Star Lord? Like I was like, it's fine. I don't mind Chris uh, Pratt mm-hmm. as Star Lord, but I'd much rather see some of these other characters and the Guardians come back than Chris Pratt. Anyone else agree or disagree with that? Uh, I mean, Warlock, obviously. Yes, yeah, I need more Warlock. Around. He's sticking around. Uh, I like how Adam Warlock grows like a real character. Yeah. Versus like functional infant of a man. <laughs> you yeah. took him out before he was done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was crazy. That was a great way that to was, explain that. Yes, it was. It definitely was. And some people complained about it, but like that's kind of how he was when he first showed up in the comics. But, like, he had, <clears throat> you're a man with no experience, no life. It yeah. Was mm-hmm. Wild. It was hilarious. I love it. Uh, I think we'll see Warlock. I'm hoping that we see, because uh, it's in one of the kids who was rescued, Phyla. That's right. That is Phyla true. Bell. The comic is Daughter of Marvel, the original Captain Marvel. Obviously, that changed Captain Marvel. Um, but Viola Vell, he's a very good guy. Her translated with someone who can do as good of a job as done is done. Um, and I think that if we get a Nova, what Kevin Feige has said, Nova is one of his favorite plans. Yeah. I would love Mora and Nova. Mm. Mm. That'd be fun. Okay. Yeah. Maybe cool. Yeah, and why not? Nova dies, Mora's devastated by it, comes back to life. I think Mora <laughs> hates them because he never told her. And yeah. all, the fun stuff. all the fun stuff. I'm down. Mm-hmm. Uh, any other nitpicks or things about the film that... Yeah. No. Um, I'll say this. I just got... Oh, oh go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> I'm going to say, high evolutionary. I mean, I got to acknowledge that wonderful performance. That yeah. Was, yeah. I was like, man, you know... <laughs> Did you watch him in um did you watch him in um oh what is it, Peacemaker? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean Gunn loves to work with the same people yeah. over and over again. I love yes. it. Again, we could have cast him as King. We would not oh. be in so. That's what a lot of people were saying. That's what like, we, it's so, kind of funny. Like, That's what like, I was gonna bring up. Let's plot those roles. Like, don't get me wrong, Donald <laughs> Major, excellent as King, phenomenal performance. Yes. But if this man does not survive his trial in August, yeah, I, I, just slide him in. I, Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't I be know. mad. It's a variant. <laughs> yeah, it's a variant. <laughs> yeah, excellent. The the whole counter Earth thing was amazing. All yeah, the, all the stuff with high evolutionary. It was so well done. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna finish out my opinion right here. Right here. I mean, I think this movie really proved that like a Marvel as a whole hasn't lost their touch some people are like all oh, marvel's kind of lost it mm-hmm. you know and it also kind of eliminates the whole idea of superhero fatigue yeah like, no, like the flash bombed in the box office already because it's like yeah it's it's it yeah yeah all in all great movie 9.5 out of it. Mm. wow um i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 too i need to watch it again but yeah. it's I, I could be very very well a 9.5 as well i say 9 out of 10 yeah all right, so uh, uh, Jordan here uh, added this into our notes. Uh, or did I do this one? You did. I did this, this one. one. So we're going to do this quickly. How would you rank from worst to best the MCU trilogies? So you have, in no particular order, Captain America, Guardians, Spider Man, Ant Man, and Iron Man. Are we going to go around and be like, let's, okay, let's go around starting at the bottom? Um, you need to write it down first? No, I think I got a good. Yeah, I got it. I mean, can we just say say our order? Right? Like, I mean, I got my order off the bat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> N- number okay. For me, number six is Thor. I just there was one like I'm not going to count um, Love and Thunder because I don't think that fits in there. But like the first one's fine, the second one's trash, and the third one is good, mm-hmm. but it's not like this amazing revolutionary film. Yes. So Thor is at the bottom for me. Thor is at the bottom for me also. 
Justin, what's at the bottom for you? I'm going to see. I can alternate between Ant-Man and Thor if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> well, it's funny that you say that because that's my next one is Facts. Ant-Man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah. it's like day of the week. Like, I mean, Ant-Man's great, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. I, oh, they're both good trilogy, but like the other four are just. Yeah. Better. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we're are you were all in agreement there. So Ant Thor Man. and Ant Man is the bottom two. Yeah. Uh, my next one is Iron Man. Um, I think the first one, if it was a standalone, like obviously that's going to rank up so much higher than everything else. But like the second one was the and the third one, I, I I personally enjoyed, but it just felt so different from everything else, and so it was just kind of a wibbly wobbly trilogy, if you want to mm. call it that. And so that's why I have it at number yes. uh, four. I also Ooh. have it at four. Just because the inconsistency of that, which it, it, it had its like, like what, was, what we were talking about earlier, it had those parts where it could be a really great movie, but just, yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I agree. I mean, yeah. Ditto. Ditto. All right. <laughs> uh, this is where we probably might start mm -hmm. dis, uh, disagreeing here. My next one in the third spot is Spider Man. Um, I think. I think the easy route to go is the third one was so good that it makes up for everything else. And I enjoyed the first one a lot, but that second one was not my favorite. Mm. Um, and so I think it relied too much on Iron Man. I think it relied too much on his death. And it was all about that and not all about it, but that was just a big tough. focus of it. So, um, and like, like Justin was saying, like these other ones are just really good too. So Spider-Man, yeah. my third in the trilogies. It's hard for me. It's really hard. Um, just because I'm automatically biased because I just love Spider-Man so much. Um, I would put Captain America at three. That's okay. what I would do, yeah. Justin? Guardian. Whoa! Mm, wasn't expecting that. Yeah, like, but, but like Jordan, I am incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. super biased. Like, you like, already like, know. Like, hey, like my... <laughs> It doesn't favorite matter who it is. Put a Spider-Man on book. screen. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, my two favorite comic book characters, two favorite Marvel comic book characters. Yeah. Well, top five is definitely <laughs> Peter Parker and Buck. Yeah. So, I'm, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I got I got a fantastic Winter Soldier. I'm, I'm happy. Well, look, yeah. here's, here's my number two, Captain America. And look, Captain America, I'm complete biased. He is my second favorite superhero, yeah. like across the board. Um, but like the first one was fine. It was good. It was heroic. It was like definitely a 40s kind of feel thing. The second one was just jaw dropping, though. It truly like I know Iron Man changed the game for superheroes all around, yes. but like Winter Soldier was like, okay, we're gonna bring in Jason Bourne style stuff to this. Some serious to it. Um, yeah. And then Core Civil War was just fantastic as well. And so all around, like I could watch that trilogy a few times a month if I wanted to. That's how I'm kind of rating this is like, how often do I really like watch these movies too? Like how I'm not going to put on Thor. I'm not, <laughs> not, I mean, Ragnarok. I mean, if it's playing cool, um, Ant-Man two was maybe Ant-Man one out. This was my favorite and Iron Man one and then Captain Mary. Yeah. So, um, all right, we got to wrap this up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, left yeah, here. yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's guardians. That's your number no, one. It's, no, it's two. That's your two. That's your two. two. All right. And then number one for me, Guardians. I, I just, I think all across the board, even the second one, even if you consider that one just a little bit less, I yeah. mean, it's solid movies yes. nonstop. All around. Um, Agreed. Agreed that it's solid. Um, we never did my, my number two. My oh, number I'm two. sorry. No, that's fine. Captain America, for reasons already stated. Okay. My number one is Spidey because. Yep. The park. Same here. Peter Parker. Like overall, Guardians is like. I think it is overall the best, but just because they're three Spider-Man films, I'm, yeah. That's, that's I actually, you know, I I can't say that it's the best because they all just hit different. That's that, that, that's true. Yes, yeah, true. There, there there has to come in a bias at some point, and yeah. that's like there's nothing wrong with that. Like these are all great trilogies and great films. So yeah. at, the, at this point in the in the, the the top tier, it's like, you know, what what fits your groove? So yeah. yeah. All right, guys, a little behind the scenes. Uh, we're using Zoom, so we had to cut out real quick. But we're back. And, guys, we, we, I think we saved the best for last, to be honest here. Facts. Like, I think this is, if there's a way to go here for this main segment, this is the way to do it. Uh, we are going to be talking about Spider-Man across the universe. Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, oh, Spider-Verse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> 
it's late, guys. I it is late. Too. It is All late. Right. Um, guys, even if this movie, here's my general thought. Even oh. if this movie had been a complete like plot collapse and nothing worked in that way, this film was a animation masterpiece. Mm-hmm. It was just a visual spectacle. Like, I remember at one point in a particular scene, spoilers, obviously, uh, where there it's the Gwen, at the very end, Gwen talking with her father in the uh-huh. living room, and uh-huh. just the watercolor animation that was uh-huh. coming in with the pink and the white and all that. And I'm just... I'm just sitting there. I'm crying because I'm like, this is the, one of the most beautiful things that I've ever put my eyes on. Yep. Just this alone yes. is beautiful. And then what's happening with the dialogue and everything is just like adding on top of it. Yes. yes. And so, um, yeah, needless to say, uh, I absolutely adored this movie. Yes. Ditto. Uh, it, every layer and every, like the details of, um, and I know this is not detailed thoughts, but the detail of uh, <clears throat> each layer of each like universe when they switch the even the art would change the colors and you, you could tell what it represents and then um seeing that what the villain you know obviously spoilers but what the villain became and you know you look back on the foreshadowing of the first one I was just like what the I did not see that coming so yeah it was just the art the I think it's really cool how the cast like voices can bring up so uh, so much emotion you know like you're yeah you're seeing these characters like but they're really they're talking just like we are yeah. <laughs> into a mic and i think that that was it was great mm. justin man mm. <laughs> uh yeah dude i love it i love it i love the visuals the visuals are top notch like i love how a lot of the characters obviously held from different universes so like when they're in not their universe their art style just kind of doesn't like jive with it like uh like spider punk you know Mm -hmm. oh man like all of that was yeah just so excellent so yeah um visually speaking also you know the plot plot was great yeah um you know it was good it was good nice to see uh miguel in something other than a comic Unfortunately, he was kind of a dick, but you know, <laughs> yes. take what we can get. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's dig into it, guys. What did we did we see? Did any of y'all foresee? Um, is it, what's his name? Spot or whatever his name is. Um, the villain, like him being the main villain at the very beginning of the film. No, no. What did he call him? He called him a. Uh, uh, what type of villain did he call me? Took it the so. Villain pers- of the week. Villain of the week. Villain of the week. That's exactly what I thought he was. That's exactly what I thought he was, and at seeing him evolve, I was like, "Yo, yeah." I the only reason I had thought that he was going to be more at the beginning was because of that back, comment. Spider Spider Man the animated series in the nineties. There's a whole long massive plot spot, and I was just like, the moment he was like. Going like, oh, he wants to get revenge. I'm like, ah, uh, we're, we're, we're <laughs> back on this. He didn't get caught. I'm like, we're coming back. We're circling back. And if if they don't get caught, they're never. Right. Well, mm-hmm. like as soon as as soon as like Miles like went back to his apartment and then came back and realized that he had escaped. Like, okay, this is coming back to bite him somewhere. I knew that, but like mm-hmm. that first like spot in the convenience store, I was like, no, nothing. I yes. Thought, just another another guy. Another. Yep. Um, let's talk about, um, let's talk about some favorite characters who, besides Miles and besides Gwen, who was our favorite character? Spider-Punk. Are, are we just all, is everyone agreeing with yes. that? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really Sorry, did enjoy, I, my, um, my brain was trying to remember everybody in the movie. Yeah. Re- um, actually, you know, I really did enjoy Ben Riley. <laughs> it's yeah. very like the suck on the nose commentary for the 90s yes super dark super yeah. dark. yes <laughs> <laughs> i know his first appearance he's like posted up on a wall just <laughs> I was like this is great um i really yeah. did like um i'm gonna butcher this pronunciation but pavit paviter pavitar um the the indian uh peter parker yes i really enjoyed that one i think i would enjoy seeing him in another one too but yeah. Uh, but I think it's hands down is um, Spider Punk. Yes, I mean, just fantastic. Agreed. 
Uh, what, his, his, oh, his animations too. Like the whole paper, like he's constantly changing, was very cool too. Didn't they? If I correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't they animate like his top half and his bottom half at different frame rates? Yes, that's a that's another layer. I don't know the proper way to say it, but they don't call it frame rates. But they they were explaining. I was watching a TikTok about this, and the first uh, Spider Man, you know, into the Spider Verse before Miles you know, fully embraced and got the new suit and all that, he was moving at a certain frame rate. And once he did get into that, he hopped into the normal frame rate where he's not choppy. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I think you're right. I think I did did see something about that. Yeah. It just... It, it, that detail is just... That, that's really what it is. It's really what it comes <laughs> it's down crazy. to. It's just there's so much detail in this it's movie crazy. that you have to watch it a few times to soak it all up. Yeah. Because you're just like, you're you're in this... This trance almost of yeah. just Im- taking all this in at the same time. Yeah. Um, did we like the uh, the spider uh, the what do you call it the spider uh, lobby the whatever the, the spider host. society? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I loved I loved it, and I think that's <laughs> that the first time I watched it. Uh, I had to, I definitely saw it again, but the first time I was really just like not even paying attention. I was just trying to find every <laughs> Spider Man I could possibly like point out. Um, the T Rex and the T Rex, yeah. Cause I think they they did animate over what over two hundred of them, like yeah, pfft. yeah, it's insane. I, I again, there's a lot that I caught, like some deep cuts, like yeah, Mitch Kane from uh, Renew Your Vows and stuff like that, and Spider Man Unlimited. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might remember that one. Uh, yes. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah, lots, lots of cool, lots of cool stuff there. You know, um, I also did like the uh, Andrew. Hey. Like, mm-hmm. And hey, come on, man, Donald Glover, guys. Yes. I was, I was, oh, my theater shouted when he got on the screen. <laughs> they screamed. So, my, my question though, there is, yep, we think Donald Glover as the prowler is same. Uh, no, nah, I think it's a different Aaron variant Davis that we saw in. Oh, yeah. You don't think nah. you don't think he could have became the prowler in I'm three not saying years? I'm not saying he couldn't. I'm just saying like I don't think this is gonna be that one. I think uh. it's just a nice nod because obviously Don Glover was the inspiration behind yes, Miles and yes, everything. Yes. He's he's he was already in the MCU, so why not have him as a live action true, prowler? True. Um yeah. So uh okay, so let's move along. Yuri stole my uh, next point there. What do we think about Oscar Isaac's performance? He was he's pretty he was pretty serious, really serious the whole time and he was cool. I like the, um, it beefed him up too more mm-hmm. on the suit and everything, um, and his like story with creating a what are they called the cannon defense? Cannon defense. Yes, you know, with his him going back and trying to be the Miguel mm-hmm. that died and everything. I was like, oh dang, that's you know why you are the way you are. But yeah, I liked it. I liked him. Cool beans. Our guys can do anything. All right. Uh, any de- other detailed thoughts about this film? Um, I mean, I think there's hardly anything we can really say about it other than just it was really well written. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I'll move on to nitpicks. The only thing that I will say is it didn't feel, and this is not me like, again, this is a small nitpick. Mm-hmm. My general rating does not change because of this. But like the ending is not a, don't think it's a true movie ending. It's definitely a comic book ending, as far as like the, um, the um, oh, what do you call it? Not the foreshadowing. What's the word I'm looking for? A, um, a cliffhanger. cliffhanger. Yeah. Cliffhanger, yeah. Um, but that's the only thing. It's like you're getting to this point, and you're like, you see the evil Miles Prowler guy, and you're yeah. like, oh no, it's about to happen. Mm-hmm. And then it's like you, you really don't get to the whole premise of what's happening until like the end of the second act. Yeah. And then it's like they kind of just end it yeah that's the only tiny nitpick i have but that is like undershadowed by everything else that is the beauty of this film yeah with it being yeah i get i i i, I agree with that and the, the thing is it's funny because i i knew it was a, well, i mean i don't think everybody knew but i knew it was a two-parter movie like right. two parts and just to hear everybody be like what <laughs> Are they serious? Well, like, but like, like <laughs> Infinity War, they definitely had an ending. Yeah. Thanos won. Yes. He, he did, this, this is yes. the end of this arc, of this plot line. Yes. And then the part two is a completely different story. It's a continuation, but it's a different arc. Yeah. So that, that's what I mean by that. Yeah. Gotcha. 
Justin, what do you think? Am I yeah. speaking of my ass? I, no, 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 no. I, I, I agree. I like honestly. I like that it ended like that. It caught me off guard because like when it ended, I was like, oh yeah, it is a two parter. Mm -hmm. I had totally forgotten. <laughs> and because I was sitting in the theater and I was like, man, we still got a lot, lot to go. Yeah. <laughs> we four hour like, movie. Uh huh. <laughs> oh wait, wait. Okay, you know what I mean? That makes sense. Uh, yeah. I mean, I will say. The same thing I said about The Last Jedi, because The Last Jedi is a very controversial movie for some people. Um, some? Middle, <laughs> it's my second favorite Star Wars movie. Um, <laughs> the middle film of a trilogy is ultimately defined by the last film of a yeah. trilogy. Mm -hmm. yeah. a continuation of a story. Not like a, uh, like a Thor kind of trilogy, but like a Star Wars trilogy where it's one story and the same thing fits in one story. Yeah. That movie will ultimately be determined by how the trilogy ends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So however the next movie does will ultimately determine how long term how people feel about the first one. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think I, I think what just surprised me so much about this film was like I knew going in it was going to be good. Mm -hmm. But just the mere fact that they they I mean I'll say it. I think this is better than the first one. Yes, I think agreed. I think it just it does a lot more. I decided that halfway through the movie. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I, I'm not saying the first one's bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just like this one just goes above and beyond. Yeah, and even the relationship with his parents, like you got to see that more, mm -hmm. um, and even the cultural like details to it. Of oh. let's talk about that for a second, okay? Yeah. The the. You know, when he's talking back to his parents, you know, that initial reaction, him being late <laughs> everywhere, her snapping a Puerto Rican flag, uh, <laughs> Gwen addressing them as with first names. Oh, man. Yo, Yo. I was like, I said, that's accurate. That's very accurate. <laughs> hey, I, got, I got a comment on some of this. So my sister's white and we also have a housemate who's Puerto Rican. So <laughs> like all of that hitting was just like, yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, so, so accurate. So like, accurate. Like, for, like, man, I'm I'm 33 years old and I still feel weird addressing some people by their first names. Like, <laughs> like my childhood friends, their parents, not Mr. and Mrs. Gordon. Like, man, it's not. <laughs> like, like it, it, it's, not, it's not. If I met him now, you're like, sure, you'd be Don and Doreen yeah. or whatever. I'm like, nope. Nope. Uh, Mr. And Mrs. Gordon forever. Yeah. And <laughs> when I saw the meme you sent, yeah. when he was on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> That too. That too. Uh, yeah, dude. That was yeah. That was but great absolutely stuff. Absolutely not. Oh. I literally my nephew who was white literally put his shoes on the counter today, and I was like, <laughs> you little son. I was like, what? What are, what are you doing? Who what raised you? you? <laughs> exactly. I looked at my sister. I'm like, you raised him. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. I, that. I was like, all right, whatever. Uh, something that's well, you can go with predictions for, but the soundtrack was solid. Like, I don't know if you guys listened. Yes, Metro. Yeah. Good stuff. And his cameo was pretty cool too. Um, I don't know if y'all caught that when he, when Miles Morales and Oscar uh, broke out of the glass, he was that black Spider Man hanging down, and he was like, "There's no way, yeah. no way out." And he was like, "Oh, I guess there is." <laughs> um, that was really cool. Uh, but yeah, I've I've been listening to the album on like nonstop. It's just really, and I like how they have like parts of the move like movie in it. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah. Even that, I think, I can't remember what song it was, but Gwen was like, you know, every, um, whatever she said to Miles, like every other spot, every other universe has a Gwen, and like mm -hmm. when they, when they, when they, she gets with Spider-Man, it doesn't work out, or something like that. That was, yeah, it's just a really good album. Yeah. I think the, the, kind of the final trope at the end, uh, not trope, but like the final theme of, no, y'all expect it to be this way. I'm going to do my own thing. Mm. It just, I think it's just mm. a beautiful, a, mm. a beautiful. How to plan the whole. Yeah time yeah uh all right questions and predictions uh is the dad gonna die no okay second question who changes sides is it going to be spot or is it going to be miles prowler earth 42 like because you know someone's going to change sides someone on the bad side is going to be like okay let me help you out yeah i think it'll be earth, earth 42 miles i'm gonna say no no Oh, so what's going to happen then? What's your prediction? Oh, I, I don't think Prowler's going to change that. Cause I think that Miles Prowler saying that is something that's going to really mess with Miles mm. to be like, yo, that could have been me. 
if X, Y, Z had happened, you know, and that's going to be something that really sits, sits with him, you know, and I think that Bot, Bot can't change. He's a big bad. He's got yeah. top of versus, like, we, he can't change. Yeah. I think that really, I mean, and that's kind of such a trope would be good, I feel like, to just kind of, like, not do that and just focus on, like, who really changed sides was, like, Gwen and all the spider people who she's bringing to save him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, Side note, Jessica Drew, one of my favorite comic book oh, characters. Yes. And it's Jessica Drew. Man, she's a jerk. She's a jerk. <laughs> jerk. I'm, I'm not. I'm like, oh, wow, you're pregnant with Jerry. I don't care. You are the worst. Yeah. You are the worst. You're going to let Miles down? No. I, no. Love, I love when Peter B. Parker would be like, yeah, I taught him that. <laughs> like every now and then. She's like, you're a horrible teacher. And he was like, well, I can't be that horrible. He beat you. <laughs> I love that part where, she, where he got her back. That was good. All right, well, to wrap this up, final ratings, what do we give it? 10 out of 10. I give it a 9 out of 10. 9.5. What'd you 9. say? 9.5. 9.5. Yeah. I, yeah. I, mm-hmm. Again, I need to rewatch all these again. Well, maybe not Flash, but I definitely need to rewatch these last two <laughs> and kind of uh, <laughs> just get a – because it's like it's borderline like that 9, 9.5. It's just this one was like I walked out of like – Okay, this is probably recency bias, but this is probably a 10 out of 10. So I'm mm-hmm. like, let me hold it back just in case. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, this is the one that uh, Jordan wanted to bring to the table. He mm-hmm. wanted to do a Spider-Man film ranking. Uh, we're going to have to do this kind of quickly here. Yes. Um, but there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten yes. Spider-Man films. Wow, we're spoiled. Um, and I'd like to point out that these are all within almost a decade. Yep. Right, the first Spider-Man came out in what 2001? one, two, three? was it two? I think it might be one, might be two. one or two. It's I don't know. Me. Yeah, so it's really close to all within a decade. This is gonna be off the cuff. I did um, not make this ranking. So uh, we're gonna have to do this quickly. Let's yes. do like a blast through of the last uh, bottom one, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. so uh, I'll start. Uh, Spider-Man three. Uh, no surprise there, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man two. Mm-hmm. Uh, Far from Home. Uh, mm-hmm. Spider Man 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and last one, The Amazing Spider Man. Okay, those are my, my, my bottom five. Uh, Spider Man 3, The Amazing Spider Man 2, um, oh man, Far From Home, The Amazing Spider Man. Mm-hmm. That's five, yeah, right? Y'all really don't like Far From Home, man. Not that much. It's okay. Hey. It's okay. Uh, well. I'm going to say Spider-Man 3 was obviously the best Spider-Man. <laughs> Followed closely Funny. by the amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, <laughs> no, uh, definitely Spider-Man 3 is like at the bottom for sure. Um, here's a hot take. And my bottom five is also going to be Spider-Man 1 with Tobey Maguire. That's not too hot. It's my number uh, six, so it's not that far. Yeah, I or say that's not next. <laughs> I that movie for me it doesn't hold up. It does not hold up. Yeah. Uh, um, Same. And then I'm gonna say the Amazing Spider-Man two. And then the Amazing Spider-Man and Spider-Man two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I rewatched all of them prior to uh, No Way Home. Mm-hmm. And so I, this is coming pretty fresh. And Justin, I agree with you. That's not a hot take. Like, mm-hmm. look, it was revolutionary for the time, but man, it is it is nineties cheesy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's his name? What's the director's name? Raimi. Like, I just did not it's vibe. With, did yes. not vibe with me. Nope. Uh, cut not my next one. I'll do my next three. So they'll leave At us with the top three. two. Uh, is Spider Man one, Homecoming, and Into the Spider Verse. So. This is in, in that order, in that order. Uh, but, yeah, Spider-Man 1, Homecoming, and Into the Spider-Verse. Sp- mm. Spider-Man 1, Homecoming, Spider-Man 2. Wait, did I? We're leaving three or two? Leaving two. Oh, okay, so that put Spider-Man. Ooh, wait a minute, no. Uh, I'll put... Got to write this stuff down. Man. Yeah, I know. I'm the one that <laughs> put this in the notes and didn't even do it myself. Uh, I'm going to replace. Sp- ah, this is tough. Sorry. Um, into the Spider-Verse. 
I would put Spider Man Two above that. Wait, you put Spider Man Two on top of Into the Spider Verse? On top of Into the Spider Verse? I enjoy Spider Man Two. I I don't know. I I enjoy. I like that movie. It's like <laughs> it was I like know, top that, three for me before I seen it. Surprising. Wow. I like that movie. I mean, no, I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm liking that movie. I'm just surprised you had it so high. Right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I enjoyed it. How about I mean, you, Justin? Uh, I'm going to go. Far from home. Into the Spider-Verse. Homecoming. Mm. Okay. And then the last two. Homecoming over into the Spider-Verse? Yeah. That, is, that is interesting. That is interesting. Why Peter do you Parker. like that so much? Yeah. Peter Parker bias. Okay. Got you. All right. And well, don't get me wrong. I love Miles, but man, Peter Parker. Yeah. <laughs> Got you. Uh, then top two, I mean, this is probably no surprise, No Way Home and Across the Spider-Verse. Like, I mean, that's across the board for all three of us. All of us, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, they're, they're that good. I mean, No Way Home was fantastic, but man, Across the Universe is just, or excuse me, Across the Spider-Verse is just something special. Do you think Beyond the Spider-Verse will move up? I am. Number, do you think? <sighs> guys, they're two for two. They're two for two. <laughs> I, and, I don't think any of them are top No Way Home for me, though. You think, and you think that because of it's, because it's animated? No, or is no, it just because, no, 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 are you Peter no, biased? No, no, no. You're Peter biased. I don't animate it does not bother me okay. at all. Um, is it the peer, Peter bias? Or you? Not, it's actually even not Peter bias. It is. Ah, man. <laughs> Peter just, his life just sucks that much. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, man, I don't care. I'm, I'm a sucker for a movie that doesn't have a happy ending. And there is no happy ending in, the, in that movie, man. Yeah, that's a good point. Everything... Everything sucks, and the only thing that doesn't suck at the end is that his friends are happy. Yeah, but he's not because they don't even remember him. Yeah, he has to make his own spider suit. He's got to learn to sew. He lost his high tech nonsense. Come yeah. on, man. like everything sucks for Peter. He lost everything, and all he gets is some advice from some other Peters who have better who have a better life than him. I mean, Andrew's Peter's I was a little. Say, Andrew bad. went through Andrew's it. Got it pretty bad. Andrew went through it. <laughs> And Toby's like, yeah, we made it work. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? 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 Why are you happy? Yeah. You're amazing. Okay. I, You're I think amazing. we just need to we didn't say this together. You're amazing. You're amazing. All right, guys. On that note, I think it's time for us to wrap this main segment up. But don't yes. go anywhere. We're going to be right back to uh, wrap things up and talk about some future stuff. Previews. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, we are back diving right in. We got a few th trailers that have come out since the last time we talked. I don't think we got them all, but you know what? It's been a busy show, so I'm not too it stressed has, about it. Yeah. Uh, let's just dive right in uh, with Marvel. Starting, I believe, today as we're releasing it is Secret Invasion, Marvel's Secret Invasion. Um, guys, I'm kind of pumped for this. Like, I've been seeing some pretty good reviews out there. I've been kind of reluctant to have give like any false hope about yeah, it, but... Uh -huh. Um, I've been letting reviews kind of give me a little hope. Uh, yeah. What do y'all say? The trailer looks good. Uh, I'm just excited to see Nick Fury back. It feels like it's been since, um, what's that movie called? Inf was he in Infinity War or Endgame? Was he? It was Infinity War when he... F he was in the um, end credit for Infinity War. Yes. So I feel like it's been... I mean, we did see Captain Mar Marvel, but... Yes. Present day Nick Fury. I, I just want to know what he's been up to with the scrolls so bad. Like that's been, it's been like, yeah. That's what I've been thinking about every night I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have been keeping away from most of the stuff with that. Um, I've gotten a little bit lax lately with my, uh, with my trailers and previews and I'm trying to get back into to mm. my old habits. Mm. Uh, so I saw the most recent trailer once didn't pay enough attention to really learn things I didn't want to learn and mm. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Probably won't get to watch it tomorrow, but or today when this comes out, but yeah. yeah. Definitely watching it this week. For sure. I'm excited to see Amelia Clark in there and see what she does. But so far it looks like it's gonna be a really good spy drama. So yeah. I'm I'm on board for spy dramas. 
All right, moving along, we had our first trailer for Craven the Hunter uh, come out just a couple of days ago. Yesterday, actually, from uh, from our point of view, yeah, comes out October. Um, well, I'll say this: <laughs> um, it doesn't look like the worst thing in the world. No, um, but Not Morbius. It doesn't look like Not Morbius. Morbius. Not Morbius. Um, but yeah. it looks like it's going to be mid at best. It looks like I, a two thousand mid two thousand film. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he was he was. Crawling like a gorilla at one point, I was like, "Yo, y'all, yep, and man." Well, he's pretty thing. little. He's kind of little for a craven, in my here's opinion. The, I, I mean, I mean, he, I don't feel like he's little for a craven. But the thing that gets me is like, he's not craven. No, like the character of craven. It's the same mm-hmm. thing that we got with Fox when they're like, "Hey, let's make an X Men movie. And we're gonna put these names and these characters who aren't really these X Men." <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, like it's the same thing. It's like yes. there's nothing about craven. He's not craven. Yeah. Like not like he's like a animal lover respective person. Like nah. Craven the hunter is ruthless. He doesn't care. Uh-huh. He wants to hunt. He hunts Spider Man because he's Spider Man's like this would be a great hunt. Yeah. He based the X Men's Island and hunts mutants because they're the the thing to hunt. Like that's Craven. Like, nah, I, I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling it. It looks interesting. Yeah. I'll probably watch it when it hits, like, Netflix or something. I'm not paying money for it. Um, <laughs> I do <terrible>. wonder <laughs> if his brother in the movie is going to be the chameleon. Mm. Yeah, probably. But probably not, knowing Sony. So, who mm-hmm. knows? Oh, but hey, we got Rhino. Oh, it looks like a real... <laughs> A rhino who's like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. That's like high evolutionary. I thought that was pretty funny. I was kind of like, I literally laughed out loud when I saw the trailer. I said, oh, we're just throwing that in there. Got Ooh. animorphs thing going on here. Yeah, I was like, okay. Um, and I don't even know where this actually, like, if this is actually going to connect to anything. I'm not it, even bothered trying to figure it out. I don't think that it is. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so there's... I think it's wait one more thing. I think it is cool that it's like rated at R and there's like blood and there's he's like biting people's. Oh like, yeah, the bear trap off. around the dude's head. Yeah, thing. yeah, that's kind of cool. Cool. I'll give it that. Cool things. I think they're trying to do a Deadpool thing and it's not gonna land the way no. Deadpool. No, mm. no, it's not. Yeah. Um, what other character though could Marvel try to not Marvel? But I guess it would be DC that could do a Deadpool esque film. I'm trying to think. And of... bug. Ambush Bug. Mm. He's basically a Deadpool like character who knows that he's like in the comic and like fourth wall break. Uh or like a Deathstroke or yeah, Deathstroke would be good. Frankenstein or I mean this is actually DC's got a lot of characters. They got a lot lot more. You know, you know Gunn might do it like like in their second phase or third phase, I bet you he might try to do that. Mm-hmm. Give give him some time, but I bet you he'll try it. All right, moving along. Um the Marvels. Uh, we're continuing with Marvel. Um, I'm I'm not against it. I, like I've seen the trailer. Uh, I've watched it a couple of times. Um, I'm really wanting this to be good, though. Like yeah, the first one was just thing. kind of like a eh film. Yeah. I'm really wanting this one to be good, just because you got the two other uh, Marvel characters in there, and so I'm just I don't. I'm hoping, but I don't know. Yeah. Um. You actually just made me think that of something. I think that the first Captain Marvel film was basically the first Thor film yes. where your character isn't your main character for 90% of the movie. Right. Like, like they're not the character who they actually are. It's like, he doesn't become Captain Marvel to the very end. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping we get more this movie, like a much better Captain Marvel. Um, Cause she is one of my favorite characters. And we got Monica. Mm-hmm. I don't know what gets this movie. She's photon spectrum, whatever name. Yes. She is. Whatever name. Uh, yeah. She is also one of my favorite characters. And then Kamala was excellent in her TV show. Just yeah, I agree. I love it. Great energy. And yeah. I really am looking forward to the, the dynamic of her and Nick Fury. Yes. yes. Nick is going to be like, he's going to be so annoyed. Come on. You thought Peter <laughs> Parker was bad. You thought, yeah, you thought Peter Parker was bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. I want to see her and Peter Parker in Nick Fury. <laughs> oh, yes. Give me, yeah. give, me a, give me a little short with them. That'd be hilarious. That would yeah. be. All right. All right. I'm down for it. Uh, next up, move on to DC. We did, we mentioned it earlier, but we got Blue Beetle uh, coming down the pipeline. Um, looks funny. Uh, we I think we got our first trailer since the last time we recorded. 
Um, it looks it looks funny, and we as we mentioned earlier, he's going to be the first official DCU character in this new James Gunn universe. Um, what are we feeling, guys? Are ben, we is this a good way to introduce the whole new DC universe? Or I yeah. didn't expect that. I just thought they I, were making this movie just to make it like it Elseworld. Does, well, it wasn't built with Gunn in mind. Yeah, but I think that's actually promising on some level. Gunn's like, yeah, I want to keep the character. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Um, hopefully, that that an indication that the movie will be at least connected. Most of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, like it doesn't even have to be connected as much as be like, oh, we introduce the character and we just leave him in the world, and then Gun can do whatever. But yeah, if it's if it's if it's got Gun stamp of approval, then that's, that's yeah. a good, it is a good sign. The track record has just been bad, bad, bad. Like I am not trusting anything until the regime change is complete. Yeah, I agree. All right. Well, there's that. Uh, moving along, we uh, I think there's been a couple. I mean, we've been talking about Ahsoka for a while now, but there's been a couple new trailers that have released since then. Um, I'm just more and more hyped about it, and that's coming down really soon. I think this fall. So, um, is it August? August. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, so, I, I guys, I'm just pumped for it. I'm ready for it. I mean, Obi Wan was good. Um, let me down a little bit. I think mm-hmm. like I, I I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong, but uh, this one. I mean, it's it's Dave Filoni. It's completely him. He's yeah. he's writing and directing, and so, um, well, we'll see. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I've got a bit of Rebels before it hit. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Have you have you finished the whole thing or not? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah oh, definitely. Okay. I've, seen, I've seen. it. Have you seen what? Rebels. No. You probably need to. I've started, but I haven't finished. You probably need to. It's just like really power through the first season. Yes. And it gets okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You you yeah you'll be alright. Um, all right, and then last thing here, I believe, is something that uh, Jordan here put on the, the timeline here. Uh, the Walking Dead, Dead City, uh, which I believe just aired a couple of days ago. I haven't watched it yet, and I don't know if I am, guys. Like, I don't know if you are, but you're the one that put it on this list. So. I did not put that on the list. Who put this on the list? <laughs> Someone put it on the list. You. You had to be. I don't oh, <laughs> I maybe I did. I haven't saw The oh, Walking uh, Dead like, yet. Oh, was, it, was it Chris? Maybe. Chris maybe. maybe. Putting stuff on the list. <laughs> He's yeah. not even here. He's put it on the list, though. Um, I mean, like, it's nothing to do with the characters. I'm actually really, like, the characters actually do excite me a little bit with um, Negan and, um, oh, what's her name? Uh, I forgot her name. But it's like, we got 10 seasons of The Walking it's Dead. I'm just, I'm just, it's I don't lot. know. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of The Walking Dead. Uh, so unless this really thing really starts to pick off, I might just wait for it to end and then binge it. Yeah. Um, but at this moment, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. I'll watch it at some point, maybe. Just want to yeah. watch it all. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I think this is the end of our show. Any final thoughts? Any uh, any final things you want to say before we wrap this thing up? It's a good time to be a Spider Man fan. Hey, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will end this show by saying I with Guardians the way it ended, and with everything else that's been going on with James Gunn, and. It, and his approval for uh, some certain characters in The Flash. I do have a hope for the future of DC. Yeah. It's probably, I'm really hoping it's not a false hope, but uh-huh. I'm just, James Gunn hasn't let me down individually yet. And he is directing the next Superman film. So, I mean, if anything, I'm expecting at least a B B plus movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. So I just want to see them make something great. <laughs> Indeed. Well, oh, you know, actually, didn't um, didn't he confirm that the Flash director is coming back for something too? Batman. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I do not. Know. Well, I don't um, know if it's um, is um, it confirmed um, or is it like I thought it was like a rumor. I don't know if it was com- was it confirmed. Well, we can Google something. Yeah, I don't know if it was confirmed. You, you don't I, like that, Justin? I did hear about that. Um, he hasn't impressed me thus far. So yeah. Well, he, didn't he direct uh, it? Chapter one and two. I actually haven't seen those. What? I love those movies. Yeah, he did direct it. Yeah, here it is. It's con- yeah, he James Gunn confirmed it. Oh God. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I need. Well, I need to see who the writers were though. That because yeah. that might. Because mm, mm, yeah. I had no problem with how it looked. The movie. Well, I mean, other than the animation, the CGI, but. 
Apparently, that was on Could purpose. Could be. He's a, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Okay, cool. Well, I, I, I say the the future for DC is mostly high. I'll give it that. Yeah. I James Gunn's believing them. We'll believe him too. Um, Justin, any final thoughts? No. Cool. Hopefully, DC gets better. Yeah, that that's it. I'm <laughs> tired. Disappointed. Like I, I like I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I like. The Flash is one of my favorite characters. Nightwing is my absolute favorite character. I just want good movies. Like Marvel's been sending, they haven't put out a bad movie in the MCU. There've been not great movies, but there's yeah. been a bad one. I, I agree with that. It's, it's on the other end, just like bad movie, bad movie, bad movie. Bad, <laughs> bad, we got bad. Like come on, that was okay. <laughs> Enjoy my 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 comic book character, man. You know, yeah. That's that's all I want. Yeah. Yep. Well, and I'll say this, though. I think what has helped that trend of Marvel not putting out any bad movies is having a bottom line of having someone there to kind of help oversee everything. And now that we have that yeah. with our friend Gunn, and always forget to mention um, his co-executive, uh, whatever his name is, uh, I think I think the future is bright. I'm sorry? Peter? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think the future is bright. Yeah. On that note, it's time to end the show. Uh Jordan, where can we find you, man? You find me everywhere at Jordan CRTV. Justin, how about you, my friend? I am everywhere as Justin is here. And guys, you can find me at Timothy Lichty. That's L-I-E-C-H-T-Y. Thank you all again for listening and for being a part of the conversation. And remember, there's always more than this. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.